Hi, Tam here. Today is the 26th of June 2017 and I've been caffeine free for 33 days. 33 days caffeine free. Like I haven't had a gram, a milligram of caffeine in my system, a milliliter of caffeine, an ounce of caffeine, nothing for 33 days. No coffee, no tea, no energy drinks, no caffeine pills, no caffeine containing sodas, no sodas at all. Completely caffeine free for 33 days. That's a milestone in my life. Uh, it's amazing. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, why did I do it and how do I feel? Well, I've been having caffeine in my system my entire life since I was, I would say, I don't know, 10, 12 years old. You know, like as a kid, you know, Coke all the time, right? Because you grow up with Coke and, uh, you know, Coca-Cola, right? Thanks to a fantastic marketing system. Uh, you know, Coca-Cola is part of the life of millions around, billions around the world, right? A Coke and a smile. And then uh, when I wasn't drinking Coke, maybe it was winter, it was cold, it will be tea, right? All kind of teas. So basically I've been consuming caffeine my entire adult life. Yeah. I mean, uh, just, just last month, in May, I mean, I noticed that I was taking six to eight, yeah, no, between five to eight energy drinks in 24 hours. Eight on very tough days and four or five on normal days. So I just thought, no, that's too much. And then I reached a point about, about, about um, a, a month ago, a month and a half ago, where I would take six energy drinks and it would be like water. In fact, it, it, was, it, it had no effect, right? I would sleep. I mean, that's the other thing. I would go to sleep drinking a Red Bull. I mean, can you imagine? I mean... So, so basically, I was a caffeine addict, right? I would go to sleep drinking a caffeine energy drink. Like I could not go to sleep. I could not sleep well unless I had some caffeine in my system to go to bed. Can you imagine that? You need caffeine to sleep. You're so dependent on the caffeine that if you don't have it, you just get agitated, you just get tired, exhausted, but, but you don't feel sleepy. You know, I mean, I'm sure you've, you've experienced that before. Right? You're so tired, man. You're so exhausted. And you've had so much caffeine, man. So much coffee or energy drinks or whatever, sodas, that you are done. You're exhausted, but you just can't sleep. Because, you know, your, 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 your neurons have been disturbed by all that, that, all that caffeine in the system. And now you need some caffeine just to stabilize yourself and go to bed. Man, that's terrible. So that was me last month, right? Because I was like overworking myself, doing like different projects left, right and center, man. It was just too much. It was just too much, man. There was just no way. You know, at one point, you need to sleep a bit more, right? So, last month in May, I decided to just stop caffeine for the rest of my life. Stop with the caffeine. So that's why I did it, right? But since I stopped drinking ca caffeine, right? I told myself, uh, it's gonna sound ridiculous, right? But I told myself, listen, it's all good and sundry to talk about being better than yesterday better mentally, better emotionally, a better person, a better human being. That, that's great. And to be fitter as well. Because that's the thing. I mean, I was, I'm, I'm doing all these different projects, but I must also go to the gym. 
to better my body, right? My, my level of fitness. So night becomes a lot because you don't have enough hours to do all the things you need to do in 24 hours. But you must also invest two hours a day to go to the gym and, and get fit or stay fit. So that's why caffeine was such a, an important part of my day, you know. So anyway, I stopped all that and I told myself, imagine, you know, I've created this clone, right? So I've created this clone of myself. And that's, that's how I go about life, trying to improve myself. It sounds a bit crazy, but hear me out. So I have created this clone of myself. It's a mirror image of myself. This clone is, in effect, myself. But, because it's a clown, because it's a clone, not a clown, because it's a clone, my clone hasn't been affected by the toxins of life. Never had bad food or bad drinks or caffeine or anything like that. So now I've got this clone and part of this better than yesterday project, this clone must get the best food, the best drinks, you know, the best nutrition to, to sustain itself. So what would the clone eat and drink to live his life? What would I do? What must I do now? Because I am the clone. And then I thought, okay, these this stories of uh, six, eight energy drinks a day, done. No more caffeine at all. And that's how I stopped, right? No caffeine, no tea, no... I, ne I was never a coffee drinker because I'm sensitive to coffee, to the coffee beans. So I can't even have a cup of coffee. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life because that gives me... Uh, some, 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 some um, ter terrible neurological and cardiovascular side effects. So, so I can't have that, right? But I was always um, an energy drink, a soda, a tea drinker. So I stopped all caffeine. And then at the same time, I stopped all sodas. No more sodas, man. No more Coke Zeros or whatever, you know. No sodas at all, no gaseous liquids, no, not even sparkling water, nothing with bubbles, you know? No sodium benzoate in this body, right? No citric acid in this body of mine, no phosphoric acid in this temple, right? No added preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no colorants, nothing, none of that. The only liquids going down my throat would be water or 100%, 100% fruit juice. Not 11%, not 40% with some added stuff in there, no. 100% fruit juices. With no added preservatives, no sweeteners, nothing. A completely organic fruit juice. The type that you buy today, and it expires in two days. Not the type that you buy at the supermarket that, you know, can last for a month. No. Just pure, 100% organic fruit juices and water. Since I'm giving up caffeine, I should give up as well all artificial chemicals um, that, that I used to drink as well. Alcohol, I was never a drinker. So I would drink alcohol like two or three times a year. So that was fine. Smoking, I've never smoked in my life, so that was okay. The 24th of May was the last time caffeine touched my lips. And I told myself this time, look, I'm ready to die. I will not have caffeine anymore, no matter what. By day five, six, seven, I was super exhausted. It's unbe I was unbelievably tired, man. Unbelievably tired. I was just not, not well. But I told myself, no way. No way. There will be no caffeine touching my lips. 
I'm going to carry on. I have to be strong, right? So mentally, I was, I was 100% into it, right? I had to sleep a lot more and it was very, very difficult to get out of bed and, and recover. But you know what? I drank a lot of water this time. I was drinking a lot of water, right? Lots of fruits. Whenever I couldn't really cope, surprisingly, whenever I couldn't cope, I would eat um, bananas. I don't know why, but it worked, right? Probably the potassium in the bananas, right? I mean, it, it, it helped me, you know? And I went to one week, 10 days, 14 days. By day 14, all of a sudden, man, I mean, I started feeling better now. I could, I could feel that I'm better, right? Even at the gym. Actually, the gym, the gym, I wasn't affected at the gym. You know, my strength wasn't affected, my stamina and stuff, you know? Um, and then I went, I continued. Now I knew that, I, you know, that was it. I was free because, you know, it was day 14 and I was starting to feel so much better, you know? And then day 15, 16, 17, I was just feeling great. And then three weeks went by and, and then that was it, you know? I knew that this, this was for life now. And now today is day 33 and nothing has changed. I still feel fantastic. I have never felt this good. I mean, physically, mentally, you know, in, in, in years, man. I mean, I feel super focused. I feel strong. I feel, I feel invincible. You know, I used to feel like that. Back when I was in high school, man, you know, when I was, when I was a kid, you know, I had that feeling of in invincibility, man. You know, and that's, that, that's how I'm feeling again. I'm, I'm feeling just, uh, I'm feeling unbelievable. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like I could, I could, I could fly. Honestly, I, I feel like I could jump out of my balcony and fly away, man. I just feel, I think that's a good description. I feel invincible. I feel like there's no limit to my powers. You might think this guy's delusional, I mean, but no, but not really. <laughs> I, I do feel... I do feel... I feel unbelievable, that's unbelievable. You know, caffeine for all it's worth. There's nothing to it. So anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much about, about, um, about caffeine. But yeah, this is day 33, caffeine free. I feel wonderful. I feel amazing. And I know now that I think I'm going to stay caffeine free for the rest of my life. Because my body is back to where it was when I was a kid. You know, I'm now producing enough of my own dopamine and, you know, um, Catecholamines mines and, 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 and all the good stuff that you need, you know, to be optimal, right? I invite you to be caffeine-free as well and experience the joy of a caffeine-free body, man, you know? Feel your machinery being 100% again. Cheers. <laughs>